In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create layouts for your for Civil 3D. Uh, currently, we've been working in Model Space. You'll realize that there's two more tabs here. There's Layout 1 and Layout 2. These show different, uh, <coughs> actually the same view here uh, within each of these. Now, within a layout, you'll have two different pieces. You have basically the sheet that's being represented. There's some basically representation of this on a piece of paper. This is an eight, this happens to be an eight and a half by 11. And then on the interior here is a viewport. In order to, if I zoom currently, if I scroll with my mouse, you'll see that I can zoom back and forth. That's gonna zoom the paper. In order to zoom inside the viewport, you need to double click in that viewport. And then you can uh, now zoom in that piece there. In order to get out of that, you'll just double click outside of the viewport and you're back into the paper and you can view from there. So that's one of the first things to note within a layout. Now if I want to create a new layout, I can either do a new layout or do one from a template. In our case, all of our drawings will be done on a uh, 11 by 17 and we'll go ahead and use this classic view here. When I create that and I'll select that ANSI uh, B1 that's going to create uh, one down here and you can see that there is a uh, new piece of paper. This one represents an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Now currently the model does not, um, or the surface does not come through in this viewport. So I'm going to double click inside that viewport and then I'm going to use some zoom commands. Again, I'm going to hit Z, enter, and that's going to do, do zoom and I can either do all or extends any of these um, options that are presented here. I'm going to type in E and hit enter. That's going to show the extents of that. Now your zoom may come in differently. If it's not in a scale that's appropriate, uh, the most important thing to see here is that you can change the scale right down here. So I can change that scale to something uh, different here. That's 1 to 10. I can go to 1 to 1. A little bit too much. I'll go 1 to 20. And you can see you can adjust this to show what the zoom your item should be. Uh, also within that once I'm in here again I can um, I can I can move that item around within within the viewport and get that located correctly. Uh, next thing to note is that we're going to oops, I will zoom in appropriately here. I'm going to double click again outside of that viewport allowing me to zoom in on my drawing and here we want to change these uh, you, you can have the, the scale will be represented here and you can change any of these by just double clicking on them and modifying as necessary now uh, the thing we need to make sure to do is to put their name and section in here and so I'm going to actually delete this and then in order to actually delete that, we're going to type in erase. That gets rid of that, and then we can start modifying this this uh, template by typing in text. Okay, you can do default uh, text height. I can set the orientation, rotation angle of zero, and then uh, should be able to type in again text. So we can put in name. <clears throat> and these items here you can put in for the class. So what you will do is go ahead and create a, uh, a title block on eight and a half by 11. Make sure that that viewport is accurate there. And in this setting, you'll need to make sure to put in the appropriate number of layouts for what is specified in each of the drawings.